In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to optimize your website's meta tags or meter tags, as some people call them, for search engine optimization. Meta tags are lines of code which are part of a website, part of the website's HTML code, and they are read by the search engines and they're read by website browsers, but they are not visible in the actual web page itself. To edit the meta tags you need to edit the code of the website and for that you need a text editor such as Notepad if you're using Windows. Some HTML composers also come with the ability for you to access the code. There are a lot of different meta tags that you can have and they go here in between the two head tags. You can see here where it says head and then at the bottom there slash head and there are lots of different meta tags that you can have but in this video I'm going to concentrate on the most important and the most commonly used ones okay the first meta tag I want to talk about is the title tag and the title tag forms three purposes First of all, it's displayed at the top of the website browser when somebody comes to visit your website Secondly, it's displayed in the bookmarks bar when somebody bookmarks your website. And thirdly, it's what shows up in the listing on a search engine like Google. This will be the bold blue line, which is the clickable link that will take someone to your website. And it will generally be the title from the website that will be displayed. So you want to make sure that you have one of your main keywords in there and if you want to have a descriptive phrase or something else like that that's fine you can also put in this character here the pipe character which on my keyboard is right over at the very left next to the shift arrow and you can use that to separate the different things that you put in your title the next one is the description tag and this is a true meta tag it starts off with the left facing arrow then you type meta then a space then name then the equal sign then what the meta tag is is in quotes so in this particular case it's description so I've got double quote description then close quotes then another space then the content again an equal sign and the contents are again in quotes or inverted commas as some people call them and in the description tag like it says here this is where you put a keyword rich descriptive phrase about your site that will appear in the search engine listings and just like with the title tag you need to have something that will catch people's eyes when they're going through the listings in Google or the other search engines the same thing applies here you want to make sure that it's something that will attract the attention of someone who is looking through a search engine listing the one after that this next one here is probably the most important meta tag and that's your keywords tag and this is the one that the search engines will use when deciding where to classify your site and what keywords will be used for it to show up in the search engine listings and you list your keywords in the content part and you make sure that you list them one keyword at a time separated by commas but not spaces and then of course you have the end of all the meta tags the close tab here which is the little right facing arrow the other one is the robots tag and robots are the search engine spiders and if you are having this as your index page like I have it on this example you want to make sure that the robots know that you want it indexed in the search engine so you have the uh, quote here that says index and then follow so the search engine spider will know to follow any links that you might have in this page and index them as well those are the most popular tags if you want a complete listing of all the different HTML meta tags uh, come here to this website www.w3schools.com forward slash tags forward slash tag underscore meta dot ASP